Okay, we're going to take a look at the uh, C major scale um, in double octaves legato. First of all, let's look at the left hand. Okay, we start with the pinky on that low C and the thumb on the C. Now, we're going to use the thumb on all the top notes, so you can't really make uh, both voices legato, but we're going to make the bottom legato, the lower note legato. So you have the pinky and the thumb on the C. We go to the fourth on the D and the thumb on the D. Now we have to finger substitute. This is how we get the legato. So after you play 4-1, we have to sneak in the 5th finger and substitute that for the 4th. See? <laughs> and so forth, up the scale. Put the 3rd finger there, and then we again substitute with the 5th finger. 4-1, substitute with the 5th. 4-1, substitute with the 5th. Again, now 5 1, 4 1 substitute. See that constant substitution? That's how we get the legato. Up into the next octave, same thing. This is a great exercise for stretching the fingers. Now, down, we can use a different technique 4 1, 5 1. Now we're going to pass the fourth finger over the fifth. That's how we get the legato. See? Again, five, one, now four, one, passing the fourth over the fifth. Five, one. Okay? Now the right hand. We start with, start down here, thumb in fourth. Here we're going to use the passing over. One five, pass over, one four, pass over. See this passing over the fourth going over the um, fifth finger? That's actually the essence of the technique here. Now here, when we come down, we're going to use the finger substitution. Okay? One, five, one, four, and then we finger substitute. See that? One, four, sneak the pinky in there. One, four, get the pinky in there. So we have to learn to do that very quickly, and the way to learn to do that quickly is to practice it very slowly. So you get that motion down smoothly. Okay, so you see now we're going to do both hands together. Okay, so there's your C scale and we're going to learn it in all 12 keys eventually.